The effective price is less than 75,000 rupees. Uh, pretty much whatever it is that you want to use for coding, video editing, graphic design, this laptop has it for you and you can do pretty much everything. The performance gains are just crazy. The productivity gains are crazy. And that's the big thing about Mac that I absolutely love. MacBook Air M1 is literally the best laptop that you can buy as a college student. And in this video, I'll talk about exactly why that is the case, why I believe that this laptop is the most value for money laptop that you can get in 2021. And I'll be talking about exactly what are the features that I like about it the most. I have been using this laptop for the last eight months and I've had a wonderful experience doing so. So yeah, let's quickly get started with this video. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and let's get started with the review, a long-term review of MacBook Air M1 as a college student. The most compelling part about this laptop is the price. MacBook Air M1 retails for about 93,000 rupees from the official Apple website. But if you were to use your college email, you can get it for 10,000 rupees discount at just 83,000 rupees. And recently they also have this uh, offer in which if you were to buy the MacBook Air M1 or any other MacBook, you can get the Air AirPods free as well, which is about 10,000 rupees that you can buy it for. So the effective price is less than 75,000 rupees. And that I think is an amazing offer that you should not be missing out on. Now you might still say that 75,000 rupees is a huge amount and I completely understand that, but think about it like this. You will be using this laptop for the next four years in your college life. In that complete duration, you do not want anything to limit you. This is the time for you to explore various different you know, fields, to learn a bunch of different things, to practice a bunch of different things, and you don't want there to be any roadblock. So that's why I think it's worthwhile to spend five to 10,000 rupees over the budget and try to get a great laptop that can last you for a very long time. Let's try to understand why I love the MacBook. Number one is the battery life. The battery life is just amazing. I have been using it for the last eight months and it lasts me the complete day and I am into video editing with Final Cut Pro. I'm also into attending Zoom classes. I have done all the things that a normal person would do and it still lasts me the complete day without the need of charging it again. And I think that is a great point about this MacBook. I have been using, you know, gaming laptops that only provide one to two hours of battery life. And so I think going from that place to this is a huge upgrade for me. The next topic is going to be the screen. I have been using the 15.6 inch screens on gaming laptops. I have been using the full HD screens over there. But when I transitioned from the 15.6 inch screen to the 13.3 per inch screen on this MacBook, I was worried because I thought that it would stress my eyes and I would not be able to properly do all the things that I normally do, like video editing, for example. But I surprisingly found out that is not exactly the case. I was able to do all the things properly. The screen is 1440p and the brightness is up to 500 nits, which I think is really good. I have been using it outside as well in, in, in bright daylight and it works out really well in that situation as well. And now let's talk about the performance. The M1 chip is just amazing. It works like magic. I have not had a really strong computer and I still believe that at this price point at about 70 to 75,000 rupees, you will not find another laptop that offers such an amazing performance. The M1 chip literally blasts through every other laptop in terms of performance. I have been using it for video editing and it renders my videos in less than four minutes. This is the biggest USB of this laptop. Previously, I used to edit all my videos on the gaming laptops that I was using previously and the performance was just not really good and it used to take about 30 to 45 minutes to render every single video. Then I came to this MacBook Air and all the videos that you see on this channel are edited by using this MacBook Air and the performance is just amazing. All the videos are exported in less than five minutes, which I think is just a really good thing about it. And it just helps me get things done faster and quicker and easier. And that's why I think it's a great choice for everyone out there. The performance gains are just crazy. The productivity gains are crazy. And that's the big thing about Mac that I absolutely love. Now, one very small problem is that it does not come with a fan inbuilt. And because of that, it can get pretty hot. And that is basically what happens when you have an aluminum build. As you can see, the build quality of the MacBook Air, it has the sleek aluminum build and it only weighs about 1.2 kgs. I have been using my gaming laptops that actually weigh up to three kgs. And so I think this was a huge gain for me that I have been using this for the last eight months. Now let's talk about the compatibility issues. Now this is a bit of a problem because what happens is sometimes in your courses that you might have in your college, there might be some software that would not be compatible with Mac OS. And that is just basically the problem with the software. So you need to make sure that that software actually runs on Mac OS. I think if I were to get into that situation, I would just go to the computer lab and I would just use the computers over there and not just 
take the decision just because of a couple of courses to just buy a substandard lower quality windows laptop and not get the macbook air also you might think that because this has the m1 chip and it has the arm based architecture some things might not really work well some apps might not work and that was a big concern when it was first launched but right now one year later everything works really well and so you do not need to worry about that particular situation all right so that is what i would tell to you now let's talk about the keyboard it has this really great keyboard the best part about it is that the key travel is really good so it is really satisfying whenever i type on that i have been using my ultra wide monitor along with this laptop so i got myself the k cron k2 v2 this is the mechanical keyboard that i got alongside with that so that i can actually type on it and this has literally the best support for mac os it just works really well so if you are interested you can check this one out as well now one question you might also have is that is this good for coding and i think it's the best laptop that you can buy for coding as well uh, pretty much whatever it is that you want to use for coding video editing graphic design whatever it is that you can think of this laptop has it for you and you can do pretty much everything um, if you're thinking about gaming i think gaming can also be done really well on this although i'm not into gaming so you might have to look at some other way to learn more about how can you game on this laptop now you might think that m1x would be a lot better than this so you should wait till that time and i would just say don't wait for it just take this and the best part about this is that the resale value is also really good. So if you were to buy this right now, you can actually just sell it for a very less reduction of the price of the actual MacBook Air. And that I think is a great, great part about that. Now, one question you might have is, is the 8 GB RAM variant enough for you? And is the 256 GB SSD storage enough for you? I think it depends from person to person. 8 GB RAM is sufficient for the most cases, but I just went for the higher 16 GB variant. That is what I think is going to be best for the long term. And, you, and because I'm into video editing, it just helps me out a lot. And secondly, if you are uh, thinking about the storage, I think you should take a look at buying some external storage that you can use. You can buy some really cheap SSDs and you can use that with this device. But you can also get the 512 GB SSD variant if you have the budget for that. All right, so that's what I would say. That's pretty much it. I hope that this video was insightful. Let me know what you think about this. The conclusion would basically be this. Buy it. If you have the budget, go for it. It literally is the best purchase that you would make. And I have just been loving my whole experience of using applications in this MacBook. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this. If you're still watching, just say I watched till the very end and let me know what other concerns you might have about this if you have any questions about this let me know one important thing to remember is that it does not come with a lot of ports so if you need to have a lot of ports if you use a lot of external storages if you use a lot of other things you might want to get an a usb-c hub i'll just show you the one that i personally use this is the USB-C hub that I've been using to connect all the different peripheral devices with my MacBook Air. It's called as EKSA, something like that. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel. I'll be coming up with some amazing videos on this one. I will also be doing a great uh, desk tour, a setup tour of all the things that I have in my setup. Let me know if you would want to see that. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Instagram and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.